Hey guys, and welcome to another Canuck Tech video. Um, today, we're going to take a look at the OtterBox um, Defender Series case for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, and there's a QR code if you feel like snapping it. Now, this is the, you know, the epitome of uh, protection for any phone. Um, there are, you know, life-proof cases and tough cases from Casemate. But I've always found that this one's been the best for protection. So, going around the box real quick. Going great protection, yada yada yada. If you really care about that, you can always pause it and take a look. Um, so that's the box that it comes in, and these are, are all the pieces you'll be greeted with. Um, it comes with a nice little uh, instruction pamphlet. Um, most of it's pretty straightforward uh, on how to do it. I'm going to put my phone into it right now. Um, there's only one point that can be a little bit of a trouble spot for people when they're taking the case off. So you get all these pieces, you get the, this belt holster, um, which is really nice, hard plastic, swivel clip, very robust clip. This will not fall off uh, once you have it on. Um, this is the outer skin, uh, made of a, um, you know, a silicone type material, with, but it's a very heavy duty silicone and it, it has a really good grip factor, which is what I like, especially since the S3 is so slippery. And this is the, the shell, the hard, hard plastic shell that will the phone will actually sit in and inside here this is very soft it almost it feels like foam um, but it's you'll see it's very very smooth and and the bonus with this case is there's a plastic you don't need screen shields because there's one built in so what we'll do is we'll bring in the phone already cleaned it off so you put it into the bottom part of the shell and you connect the top now there's going to be a whole bunch of these little um, right here you'll see these little clips there's uh, two on each side and then one on the top one on the bottom and that's where they're gonna snap snap bottom one a lot of them go in automatically that one's already in that one's already in so now it's in and it is in and now you already have great protection um, other than these little protruding pieces here for the silicone it could sort of be used as a case I guess and when you are taking it off they do identify where those clips are on the back it'll focus with these little it almost looks like an eject uh, button um, now to show you really quick how this is supposed to go because I had quite a bit of trouble as you can see um, I almost bent that one you need to get your nail underneath here and pry up and out uh, from these but but it's very very challenging on some of them um, so keep that in mind and this piece here is as simple as sliding it in and there is a little bit of finessing you're going to want to do here. Um, especially around the edge. See, if I come right in, you'll see that the edges aren't quite connected yet. So what we want to do is we want to finesse it over. Finesse it over all the way around the phone. So I'm going to quickly do that. Or not over the phone, sorry. Over the, uh, the hard shell underneath. Okay. So there we have it. Everything is in place. So, and you'll see also that we have these, the notches I showed you before, and now they're holding the silicone in. Um, now, going around the phone, um, you're also going to have flaps covering, just so you know, uh, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your charging port. Um, so those, you just finesse those in. There we go. So, and now you're protected. No worries at all. So... Let's go around on the left side of the device. We have a volume rocker and there's still good feedback on these. You know, it's not the same as having the, just the button, but you can, you can feel the clicks underneath and it, you know, you need to use this shell basically to be able to reach those. I forgot to mention that before. Um, like I said, the top, we have the cover over the, th the uh, headphone jack. Noise canceling microphone is always, always exposed. On the right side, we have the sleep wake button. Same thing. The bonus about the S3 is there's a home button to unlock the device. But for people that like to use this or like to lock it, there is good response and it will work. And the bottom, like I said, the uh, micro USB port's covered. And we have a microphone down here that's exposed. On the front, we have a cutout. Now this is open for the earpiece and for the uh, proximity sensors and for the front facing camera. Keep that in mind. You know, so if, you, if water falls on it or it falls in a snowbank or something, water can get in there. And the bottom, the home button is open as well. So that's also exposed. Everything else, like I said, has that hard plastic shell on it. 
and it unlocks, it works, everything works fine. Uh, on the back, the camera, uh, the flash, and the, um, the speaker, is the speaker's exposed, everything here is exposed as well. Um, and you're branded with the otter box in the bottom. So that, in a nutshell, is the case. Um, what do I think about it? I think it's awesome. The only thing that some people might uh, wonder about is the home button, if you're used to having, there is a bit of a lip, uh, as you can see at the bottom. So you are pushing down a little more like this, a little more pointy, a little more work, a tiny bit more work, I don't wanna scare anybody. Um, but it's, you know, because of the huge lay on the table design and the, the rugged design, this is a little different than what you're used to. There is a lip there. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But other than that, I love it. I know that I'm, I'm good to throw it in my pocket if it gets banged around. Keys in the pocket, who cares? Um, so overall, I really like this case. Uh, I, su I, I suggest it to anyone. And don't forget, you do have this piece as well. And this is not going to go anywhere. This is secure, nice heavy duty clip on the top. Very rugged design, everything about it. It costs, uh, you know, about $50 on Amazon. Um, but, you know, there are some deals out there sometimes you'll find them, you know, used for $30 or something. Uh, but I, I recommend it for any of your devices. Uh, I like it, it's robust. And after owning a Galaxy Note 2, um, having it on the Galaxy S3 is still ma very manageable compared to that phone. So any comments you have or, you know, if you like the video, thumbs up would be great. Feel free to subscribe. We've got lots of content coming and uh, have yourself a great day. Thank <laughs> you.